with the mattress out the first bedroom. Uh, that's just the, the underneath part. Uh, the underneath is uh, rust where it's just been sitting. She said she didn't know what the basically this secretion comes from, but on the way out she said it came from cat urine. So I did. I decided to take that because she did want to keep it, but I was like, I don't think that's best for you. Uh, so this is the white balls that we soaked up all the uh, all the cat feces and urine that was in here. Uh, all that was sedimented to the bottom. Uh, we let it soak in the cleaner. And yeah. Is it just like pretty shallow or is it? Yeah. It's about that deep. Front of the stove had a lot, a lot of nasty gunk up and grease. So, um, had some Comet in the truck, used it and it worked great. Mm -hmm. Although he's using some crazy chemicals and you got some Comet right here, so. Yeah. And this half is clean, except for the dishes. I put the dirty dishes in here. Mm -hmm. This side, however, if you can shine a light down there. Do you want to be a crime scene cleaner just like us? Well, now you can. Spalling Decon is currently opening up enrollment to our bio-basic courses on thinkific.com. Click the link in our bio and head on over to thinkific slash spaldingdecon.com and use promo code CLEAN for 10% off your order. Now back to the video. It's completely full down there. Um, just garbage or whatever. And so that's not draining. I mean, is there a garbage disposal? There is, but I'm scared to try. <laughs> So this is the underside of the mattress. Um, as you can see that all the bio has seeped through the foam and just colonies of mold have just been growing in this mattress for the past month. As it's just been sitting here subjected to rain and heat. All right, guys, so this is the bottom side of that mattress. This is that blue covering that's on this hospital mattress. It's kind of a special foam one. Um, so this is the bottom side. You can see where the, like, kind of the grills were. Um, I call it the grills. It was a stove or something or an oven. You can see the fat, and it's, it's literally like, a, a, it looks like hair, kind of, because it's the mold spores. So that, that yellow is also that adipose, that fat all that stuff, all that decomp that's on there, as well as the mold that's been growing because of the moisture in here and because it's been allowed to continue to decompose with... Uh, we're gonna, but you're just gonna have to be scooping it out. So it's gonna be buckets and scooping it out. I'm actually worried about what we're gonna find underneath there, if something's alive. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I don't know. See, I'm worried that there's somebody in there. That's that deep. That's a lot. I think we might need to just bring a shot back, just to get a big shot back, and we'll end up having to throw it out. I think that might be easier. Look here. That's also full of poop. It was her mother's place, and then uh, she got it after her mother. Definitely, I'm banking on there being something dead in that tub, for sure. Either a house pet, mouse, snake, something. There's no. There's no telling, but there's there's no way there's not. <laughs> so we'll see what comes with that. All right, give us one sec. Do what now? Give us one second. What are you pulling out? Body. Just kidding. Way better than scooping it with buckets. We don't have to use any poop buckets. <laughs> This is nasty. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is poop. And I got it. We we're pulling trash bags out of the out of the um, the bathtub that was filled to the top, so the sump pump guy can come in and clear it all out. And we dropped one of the bags and just nicked my foot and got it over my other gloves. It was, I 
couldn't do it. <laughs> Just get out of there. Unfortunately, I don't think these things are salvageable is the problem. Uh, and they're still, they're still completely backed up. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, we can certainly try some of the products we have, but it's uh, the best of 50-50, you can say, especially this time. That was better than us having to put our arms in it, that's for darn sure. <laughs> Is the scalp still there? Open it up. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking at. B, baby, when you're done, those, have, those gloves have to go in the bio bin because you've got to put the other ones on. Appreciate it. I what think, is that? I think it's the hair roots. What is that? that? It's like a nest. It is a nest. Hold on, hold it. Oh, good God. I'm... Something made its... Look. Those are maggots. Those aren't maggots. Yeah, they are. What the f***? Why they left that? Like, this is like... What is it? What does it feel Crunchy. like? Crunchy. Descri describe it. What is that? There's a nest of bugs. They're nest. There's those bugs are bugs inside. Look at them inside. Look on my hand. Crack one open. Those are like, those remind me of like TT flies. No, you know what this is? Okay. These are flesh eating bugs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? Where they like burrow into the skin. Yep. That's what those are. Is it alive? No. But there's one on there walking yeah. around right there. That's exactly what those are. No, that's a fly. There's a dead fly. That is a what? nest. See, it's a nest of Listen. maggots. Hi, I'm Melanie. I'm from Indianapolis. And this is her first job, and it is a doozy. What do you think? It's a doozy. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the most unique thing about this job is normally we would be doing straight demo. We're actually asked to clean something that literally cannot be cleaned. Uh -huh. So we're essentially just cleaning a top layer of Quite literally. Because the bottom layer is already soaked into the subfloor, which is composite MDF wood. Literally parts of it are wavy. Because <laughs> the yeah, pee has just right. completely soaked in. And it's and like it's, buckling. Yeah, yeah, it's not repairable really. From so how would you describe the smell? Exactly what you would think cat pee, uh, like a litter box that's gone too far except for it's the whole house. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely compounded. Like the ammonia will, mm -hmm. will your eyes will water mm -hmm. on the ammonia. Thank God, thank for the gods for respirators. Yes. I just got to say thank, thank God yeah. for respirator. But this is like this is a frustrating job just because we're not allowed to do demo. a comprehensive cleanup, which would include a lot of demo. Um, there is a mattress just absolutely saturated with, and we're told to leave it there because it's comfortable. Uh, so it's like, oh my God, this is just, and you know, it's been a long time since I've like dry heaved, but when I watched her like just scoop up the liquid diarrhea, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, it was like my, I don't know. I mean, I'm smelling it right now and I'm just yeah. thinking about being hands and knees <laughs> like I was a few minutes ago. And, but um, thank God, yeah. Think yeah, I mean, obviously, I was too dirty to stay in one, so. <laughs> oh, it's just. <laughs> it's terrible. It's an experience for sure. This is, you know, like, it'll look better when we're done, but it's not, but it's not even close to what our normal capabilities are mm -hmm. because we're not being allowed to do it. So, lipstick on a pig was literally, that phrase was literally meant for this. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that could save this place is a match. Yeah, or a bulldozer. Bulldozer. Even then. Just the waft that's coming out of the house, which is over there, is making me like. I'm about to throw it myself. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is intense. Mm hmm. 
Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.